one, do you know what they are? No. One of the first things they tell you when you graft is to label everything because <laughs> you'll forget. Every year there's a scion exchange, it's S-C-I-O-N. And people bring in cuttings and they gather cuttings from all over, from uh, even from big gardens like Filoli that have old antique varieties of fruit. They bring in cuttings, they teach you how to graft. You can see the graft where I cut across and this was the little scion, the cutting that was maybe well, you can see how long it was, about six, six in inches long. I made, made a V shape at the bottom that would fit into this cleft. This is a cleft graft. So you cut this thing across, and it splits really easily. And then you shove this in there, lining up the bark layer, because it's that little cambium underneath the bark that is the life that will join and knit and then I wrap this tape around it and keep my fingers crossed and this one worked quite well it's got peaches on it the graft takes about a year I mean a year has to go by and then you know you have it they can fool you because sometimes they'll sprout leaves and you think oh boy and then it croaks so after a year you know it's taken this I grafted four years ago probably the root stock was from a commercial peach tree I bought that died. The top died and then it sends out these suckers which are still coming up that I have to clean up. Mm. But they're handy to graft on. So you basically need to graft in order to make a productive tree? Is that the idea? You, if you were able to find this variety mm -hmm. commercially and plant the tree it would probably take four or five years to produce and this gets you a leg up on that. It'll, it'll produce faster. And with grafting, you have a choice of rootstocks. You can get rootstocks that work better in clay soils or in sandy soils. Mm -hmm. You can get dwarfing rootstocks or standard rootstocks that grow full size. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like it's important to grow your own food? First it happened to raise our own food, but then it, it became something different. And part of it was going to the science exchanges and learning about all these different apple varieties, hundreds of different kinds, but what has happened is in commerce they, they fall by the wayside. A new apple will come. And the last time I went to Europe, still they had apples, the red delicious, golden delicious. Mm -hmm. Everything is, with globalization, it's becoming, in a way, some things are less and less. And so, anyway, that's part of my deal with uh, grafting the peaches, and I've grafted apples too. And I hope that maybe long after I'm gone, the trees will still be here. And someone will come along and take a bite and say, wow, this is really good. I'm going to take cuttings and, you know, that's my little, my little deal.